Hey everyone, today we'll go over an Airbnb interview question together. I got this question from Airbnb roughly a week or two ago. Today's question is, given a list of unique words, find palindromes that can be formed by concatenating two words. Let's go through some examples to understand the question better. For the first example, we have input string as follows. Gap, cat, bag, alpha. In this example, we have two pairs to form a palindrome. So it will be with bag and gap, and the other way around, gap and bag. So you get the following two palindromes. Let's look at the second example as well. Even though the length of the given words are different, they can still form a palindrome. So when you combine or concatenate race and car, you get a race car, which is a palindrome. And similar for the third example as well. When you combine the word run and nu, you get this palindrome as well. Before we dive into coding, do not ever forget to ask clarifying question. Here's some examples we can ask the interviewer. How long is each word? Let's say it's less than 10 letters. It's considerably short. Should we expect an empty string? No. What if only one word is given? Then we simply have no palindrome pairs. Should we expect any spaces in a given string or word? The answer is no. Let's see what kind of algorithm we can use to tackle this question. I noticed that in order for two strings with the same length to form a palindrome, one string needs to be the reverse string of the other one. Using this observation, I would reverse each input string and save it in a set. Then I'll iterate through the input string and check whether the given string exists in the set. Let me give an example. I would reverse gap and put it in the set and reverse cat and put it in the set and do the same for the remaining words. Then I'll reiterate through the words and see if the exact same word exists in the reverse string set. For gap, the word exists right here. It means there's another word that can be paired to the form of palindromes. So right here. For cat, we cannot find it in the reverse string set, so there's no pair that can form a palindrome. And apply the same logic for the remaining words, and you will end up finding two the following two palindromes. Let's see if our algorithm works for the second example. First, we would have to reverse all the given strings and reverse it and put it in a set. Then we'll iterate through each word and see if the exact same word exists in the set. The word race does not exist, so we skip. Similar for the word car, we skip. Doesn't mean that we do not have any pairs that can form a palindrome. We know we can append car at the end of the word race to form a palindrome. We just need to approach differently when the length of two words are different. What we should do instead is take one letter from the back at a time and see if the taken out letters form a palindrome and the remaining letters have the reverse string in the set. Let's work with this particular example to illustrate my point better. I would take one letter from the back and see if it's a palindrome. It is because it's a single letter and check if this remaining string exists in the reverse string set. It does not, so we skip. We take two letters from the back now. Unfortunately, this is not palindrome, so we skip again. We try taking three letters from the back. This is palindrome, and this actually exists in the reverse string set. So we found a palindrome. In order to form the actual palindrome letter, what you would do is stick the remaining string to the front and append the taken out string and you would reverse the remaining string and append it to the back. Let's move on to the third example. For this example, we know we can append NU at the front of the word run to form a palindrome like this. We can tweak the algorithm we came up with in the previous slide to make this work as well. For this case, we would take one letter from the front at a time and see if the taken out letters form a palindrome and the remaining letters has a reverse string in the set. Let's work with this examples to see how that works. I would take one letter from the front and check whether it is a palindrome or not. It is because it's a single letter and see if the remaining string exists in the reverse string set. It does not, so we skip. Try to take two letters from the front 
This is not palindrome, so we skip. Try to take three letters. This is indeed a palindrome, and the remaining streak actually exists in the set. Right here. So we found the palindrome. In order to form the palindrome from this remaining string and take an out string, what you would do is reverse the remaining string and append the take an out string and append the remaining string to the back. We came up with a lot of interesting observations and ideas to come up with a brilliant algorithm. Let's see how we can translate it into code. Let's start by creating two helper methods. One is to reverse a string and the other one is to check whether a string is a palindrome or not. Let's look at the its palindrome helper method first. I would create two variables, left and right. Using these variables, I would compare the first letter and the last letter, the second letter and the second last letter. I'll continue this until I hit the midpoint. If I do not find any non-matching characters, until the midpoint, the given string is a palindrome. So after you come out of the while loop, you return true. But if you find any characters that is not matching, you return false. Let's look at the second helper method. It simply returns a reverse string of the given string. I would leverage the existing library called string builder to reverse a string. There are multiple ways to do it, but I find this the easiest in Java. So you create a string builder with the given string and you use the reverse method and you just convert it to a string. All right, let's look at the main method. Using the helper methods, I'll start by creating a set holding the list of reverse strings. Then I'll iterate through each word again and see if I can find palindromes using the algorithm we discussed earlier in the slide. Then I'll collect them all and return the found palindromes. So this is where the main algorithm reside. So first I'll create a set of string to hold all the palindromes we find with the given word and the given set of reversed words. First, it checks whether we can form a palindrome by concatenating two words with the same length. So you check, simply check the existence of the given word in the reversed string set. If it does, then you form it, form a palindrome, and then add it to the set. Next, it checks if you can form a palindrome by concatenating two words with different length by appending the other word to the back of the given word. In order to check all possible cases, it takes one letter from the back at a time and see if the taken out letters form a palindrome and we can find the reverse string of the remaining letters. So we use the substring methods to uh, take one letter at a time and also uh, determine the remaining string. So here's the logic to tell whether the taken out string is a palindrome and reverse word set has the remaining string. If it does, then we form a palindrome and then add it to the palindromes. Um, this is also really similar it checks if we can form a palindrome by concatenating two words with different length by appending the other word to the front of the given word. It is pretty much the similar process with the loop above. So we use the same substring methods to um, determine the taken out strings and remaining string and see if the taken out string is palindrome and then the remaining string has the exact same word in the reversed word set. If this condition meets, then we form a palindrome and add it to the palindrome set. 